Yo, 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 what's up? It's Coach Slack. So I just got done working out and I was thinking as I was working out and even afterwards, how do you stop the overthinking process? You know, a lot of kids will play and their brain starts to overload over things that they should do, shouldn't do, and it kind of messes them up and turnovers happen, right? So I went over this a couple times in past videos and I gave you other suggestions and things to do. The main one is to practice. The more you practice, the less you mess up. And it's not just about practice. That's where kids get it messed up. It's not just about practicing. It's about paying attention to the small details while you're practicing. It's about being locked into the moment, being self-aware, how it feels, how your body is feeling when you're doing certain movements. If you're just practicing uh, layups, you know, and you're to make 25 layups, you know, a day, both left and right because you suck at layups you go out there and you practice and you just throw the ball up on the backboard and get the rebound and you go back and you run and shoot another layup right and you're just going through the movements you ever heard your coach say you're just going through the motions that's what just going through the motions looks like you want to be in the moment locked in self-aware so every single time i go and shoot that layup in my hands it should feel a certain way and when it's coming off the backboard i'm hitting the top of the square or, you know, if you're doing a reverse layup, wherever, you know, you put a little spin on it, whatever you're doing, that it's the same way every single time. Here's what happens when you do that. In game, you don't have to think, you just do. That's what being locked in and self-aware and not just going through the motions in practice and training and workouts, whatever, not going through the motions and you're actually paying attention to the details, especially with shooting, you know, uh, it should, ball placement, hand placement on the ball, body placement, feet, all of that stuff matters. You know, your coach, your parents will tell you, go out there and make 100 shots. You know, so kids will go out there and they'll shoot and they'll shoot and they'll shoot. But it should be a hundred of the same shots as far as where your hands are on the ball, as far as where it's rolling off of your fingertips, as far as when you put the, you know, the flick of the wrist in there. It should feel the same every single time. It shouldn't be, you know, I'm just going to go out there and shoot and shoot and shoot. And you don't even know if it feels the same. You don't even know if your body feels the same. That way, when you go in the game, you're like, well, I, sh I shoot, make 100 shots a day, but, you know, I'm breaking, right? Or you start overthinking every time you're wide open, you know, uh, oh, I don't want to miss this shot. Well, if you practice that shot, you won't miss. You should just catch it and shoot it. Don't even think about it. You miss or you make. It doesn't matter. I practice this shot every day. That's what it should be. But a lot of you guys uh, go through it and you go through the motions and... You think it doesn't matter it matters the most if you really want to get better when you're working out you go and work out in your ball handling you know pay attention to where your body is going if you're trying to shift then move your body if you're trying to force movement move your feet you know don't just go through the motions and that's the biggest thing and i know i say this is the biggest thing in every video because it's kind of a habit but it's the truth in workouts details you want to get better you want to stop overthinking in game to not think in game you have to think in practice in training and I'm not talking about overthinking in practice in training I'm talking about just paying attention just pay attention all right I appreciate you guys watching stay tuned for more I will create more videos I promise this is coach slack Hoops guy.